Yeah, that's so much weight. We're all walking around all happy and giddy. And <laughs> oh my gosh, I can just imagine while well, I'm so, so glad you guys got that money and you were able to do that. My goodness, it must be such a relief. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and since I was able to pay rent with the school money, I got tattoos with my paycheck. Nice. <laughs> You've obviously been wanting to do the tattoos for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Cinnamon, she showed me her cool tattoo she had done on her arm. Very nice. Oh, that is very yeah. cool. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't do tattoos. Yeah, it's uh, a an acquired taste, I do think. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just saying that uh, Katie was just uh, texted me and said that her mom is out of town and accidentally took her computer. Um, so she won't be joining us. I'll just record the session and then she can watch it when she has some time uh, later on. Her mom will be back tomorrow with her computer, so she won't be in class. Um, and then Jess uh, normally gets on a few minutes late just because, uh, you know, her job, she, she ends quite late. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll just wait a few minutes, give it about five or ten minutes. For, oh, here she is. Yay. That was faster than usual. Right. Hey, Jess. Give her a second to just connect. Hello. Well, hello there. Oh, Hi, hello. Jess. How was your day? Hi. How was everybody? Great. Oh, it was good. Good. I was at the campus uh, the whole day, so I've been busy and meetings and um, obviously virtual, but um, it's been a good day. Productive, I think. I think. <laughs> well, good. At least it's been productive. Uh, if you're going to have a busy day, you want it to at least be productive. <laughs> I absolutely agree. And I find that I'm just, if I go into campus and get some things done there, there's no one there. You know, it's just, it definitely is more productive. And I, I can definitely get a lot more done than at home. I've got both my sons here this evening. They're in there playing games. So I've had to kind of uh, isolate myself in the room here so it's quiet. <laughs> Me too. Anyway, um, this evening, uh, I don't know if you guys had an opportunity to watch my recording from Tuesday. Um, I have a chance to. What I did was talk a lot about um, the structure of the paper. Now that we've got the research, now that we've got the outline, now that we've got kind of all our information and thoughts together, I really went through what the structure of the paper needs to look like and some ideas and thoughts around that, how to improve your writing, how to improve the actual structure of the paper. Um, also, what I'm expecting in your, in your draft, this week you're just doing a draft, and as I said in that video, you don't have to have the final paper done. Um, I'm not checking spelling or grammar or any of those finer details. What I'm looking at is I'm looking at your content. Um, that you have started writing the content, you started putting your thoughts on paper. Um, I'm looking at uh, the actual structure. Do you have a conclusion? Do you have an introduction? Do you have a thesis statement? Have you got a title? Um, have you done all the APA style and page numbering and the headers and the reference page and all of that? Um, do you have paragraphs for each point that you're discussing? So that's what I want to see this week. It's, it's content heavy. It's not um, picking apart spelling and grammar and all of that and style as much as it is structure. And so I want to talk to you about structure. It's a very, very important aspect of structure, which is going to help you tie your paper together and keep everything very cohesive, very clear. Um, and um, and I, I call it the silver lining throughout your work. Uh, I did add this into, let me just share screen real quick. And I'm going to go and find our class. Give me a second here. And guys, please, at any moment, please feel free to stop me. Um, I'm going to get this lecture done because I know that Cinnamon and Sienna need to get off here in a, a few minutes. Um, and like I said to the two of you, if you if I'm still busy with the lecture and you need to go, that's really not a problem. You guys can go. I'll just, like I said, I'm going to record this and post it so you'll have this. Um, in the announcements, I'm going to go to announcements. I posted week three, some of the things that I discussed on Tuesday. I'm going to just quickly show you what it looked like. 
Um, if you watched my video, you would have seen I talked about this, this candy wrapper structure of a, an essay or the papers that we are writing. And we talked about going broad to narrow and then again narrow to broad with concepts um, and with your theme um, and with your main points. And at the middle of your essay is your meat and potatoes and your, your the detail. Um, and so this, this is important that you, you watch this video and that you understand this first before you understand this next point that I'm getting to. So the next thing in here, they talk about, and I just want to look at that real quick, your thesis statement. Now, um, do you all know what a thesis statement is? Yeah. Okay. You know that you need to have a thesis statement, right, for your paper. So what your thesis statement is, remember we're doing academic writing, so there's no guessing, there's no like uh, getting to the point later on. Um, your thesis statement is really in your introduction. You need to state very clearly what is your paper going to be about, okay? So it says here the thesis statement, there's a formula. Firstly, you want a specific subject or topic. What are you specifically going to be addressing in your paper? Um, and it doesn't matter if you're giving the whole paper away. You need to, because it's an academic paper, you need to state in the beginning what it's about. An assertion about the subject topic, in other words, your opinion, your suggestion, your idea, your thought on this particular topic. Okay, and that is how you create a, a, an effective thesis statement. So number one, state the topic and state your point very clearly in a sentence in the introduction. So when you are when you do your paper this week, that's what I'm going to look for. I'm going to I'm going to check that there is a thesis statement in the introduction that I can clearly see what your paper and what your point is all about. Okay. Um, and then also, like I said, it's in week three drafting strategies in the announcements. Patterns of development. This is now really what I want to get to this evening. And I'm going to, I'm going to go through this briefly. I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to explain to you what this is because there are seven types of paragraph development or what I call patterns of development. It is how do you structure your paper um, so that everything is um, either in a process like are you going to take your audience through a particular process of your thoughts okay um and how you do that is number one is by creating a narrative a narration are you using a story a narration is that is that the structure is that the style um, of your paper is that the pattern of the paper now if you start your paper in a story-like form you need to keep it in that format all the way to the end through to your conclusion. However, you can, well, you can have a narration, which is a narrative or a story. You can have an exposition, okay? Exposition, let's have a look at what it is. Uh, I've got to find it here. Explanatory writing. You are explaining something. So if you're going to use explanatory writing and you're explaining, you have to start explaining and explain all the way through. You've got to keep the pattern the same. Now, you can interchange some of these, like a narrative or a definition or an exposition. You can interchange them throughout your paper, but you should have one that is your main um, way that you're going to structure it so that it, it's, it's, all, um, it's all kind of in the same format. Because the way that we write a narrative and the way that we write an exposition is very different. Exposition, you're using explanatory language. Narrative, you're using story-like uh, type language where you're explaining something from beginning to end, right? Um, another type of pattern or development that you can use is definition. Are you trying to define something? Um, and then using language that's very definition-like. You're getting examples and you are using definitions from the dictionary and um, your sources are definition type. So are you defining something? And that's kind of how your paper will be structured. So you've got to pick one of these or two of these, but I would say one main one. Another type of uh, pattern is description. Are you describing something? Now there's a difference between definition and description, right? They're very different things. So description is I'm going to describe my opinion or my thoughts or my ideas or why I came to this conclusion. Um, and so your paper is then descriptive. Another pattern of development is comparison. This is a very fun one to use in your paper. 
um, where you have an idea or an opinion um, and you want to compare it to something else and that gives you a way of kind of going back and forth through the paper comparison or contrast you're contrasting this against that and if you use that kind of language throughout your paper it's, it actually is a fun way of writing an academic paper when you're using contrast or comparison okay once again that's very different to definition or exposition or, or narrative it's when you are, when you really have two things you want to talk about and you want to compare them how about process a process analysis but if what you are trying to say you're trying to explain that it is a in a process format or it is a process um, you can use process type structure or you can use what about persuasion are you trying to persuade your audience are you trying to um, um, what's a better word for for persuasion it's not kind of manipulation but it's kind of getting them to understand your point of view and your your way of seeing something um, by using very persuasive type language, okay? You, you're trying to sway them to your side of the idea or of the argument. Um, so here we go. So that's what they are. Patterns of development, persuasion, process analysis, comparison or even contrast, uh, description, definition, narrative or exposition, explanatory or na narration. Um, there are others, these are the main types. So in your rough draft for this week, one of the things that I'm also looking at, besides looking at the structure and your content and making sure it's content rich, is I want to see one of these types of patterns of development or paragraph development in your work. I wanna see, are you defining? Are you explaining? Are you comparing? Um, are you contrasting? Uh, are you persuading? What are you, what are you, how are you going to go about um, laying out your information in such a way that it makes sense? That's really what this is, right? It's the, it's the silver lining. Like you've got to decide before you start your paper um, how you're going to put the content and the material together. Okay. So this, this over here that I'm showing you can be found in the announcements. I've posted this in the announcements week three. Let me just show you over here. Week three drafting strategies. And it's this patterns of development down here. Okay. So does that make sense? Uh, what I'm looking for in your, in your paper this week? Okay. Very good. Um, awesome. Okay, so really the final draft, guys, this is now when we do the actual writing of this paper. Um, the majority of the work of this paper is now going to happen this week. When you're done with this, next week, it's just going to be editing and revision. A little bit of editing and revision, checking spelling, punctuation, and grammar. This week, if you've got it done, you've almost, 95% you've of your paper is done. So you'll be done, you know, next week, it's just a matter of resubmitting it once you've done all the corrections and so on. And I'm going to give you ideas and suggestions and tips on what you can do to improve your paper. Go ahead, Sienna. Um, so I, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of class, but you took off some points because you said I needed two sources for my assignment. Yeah. For yeah. some reason, it put the resource or the resource page in the middle of my two source, or the refer references page in the yeah. middle of my two sources. So I do oh. have two sources and okay. just put it in the middle of them. So did it do that accidentally? I'm not sure. I might have accidentally done it somehow. But okay. I just realized it whenever you were talking. Sure. Uh, if you want to if you want to change it back, try and fix it and resubmit, you can do that and I'll, re I'll I can change the grade for you no problem. Okay. Um, cuz that's an easy fix, right? And that, that's at least about 5 points, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, you're welcome to change it and then resubmit and I'll 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 do a grade change for you. Um, I just wanted to see before I, before I continue, Jessica, I need to just chat to you, um, before I forget, and I'm sorry, I'm now handling sort of a, it's not really this class uh, related, but I believe you want to fast track. I think you've said you have four mods left and you want to do two classes a mod and get done. Um, yeah, I was 
actually just reading my message from Christy before um, before getting online, uh, <clears throat> and it sounds as though I will need to do some different FAFSA. Um, so it sounds like I need to be approved, yeah. and that some of the classes might be online. Is that correct? That is correct. So as long as you're in communication with Christy, um, and the person that's going to help you with that is Todd. Do you know who Todd Roberts is? Um, she did say that he will be getting in contact with me at the end of the week. I've never actually spoken to him in person, but um, okay. I do know who he is and I do know the services he provides. So he should be able to um, help me uh, when we get, get a hold of each other at the end of the week. Okay. Awesome. I'm not sure that I would like to take on online classes. I don't, I don't like online classes. Um, yeah, I don't I've actually never taken a strictly online yeah. course. I've just heard bad things. I don't think you'll take only online courses. I think you may have one or two here or there, um, just depending on the scheduling, how your schedule works, and if we have instructors offering those courses when you need them. Yeah, I don't want to be a pain or anything. I, okay. I actually, I kind of wanted to start school. Um, my automotive program as, as soon as I can. And with school starting this next year, I thought maybe I could get done with my schooling here quick enough to enroll in schooling there. Um, but I'm, yeah. I'm just not sure if we can make that work. We can. And um, this is a request that uh, students ask all the time and there is the option to do it. You just first have to check with Todd with the financial aid side and make sure everything is cool on that side and you understand everything. And like you said, get approval. Once you've met with Todd and you are happy with everything, why don't you just reach out to me because I've got to send you the form to fill out to sign to say that you are, are going to fast track. Okay. Okay. No, it's, it's, not, an unreasonable, yeah, um, it's not an unreasonable request. Um, students request that all the time to try and finish up quicker. That's why we have the fast track. Um, but yeah, it's two classes a month. You have to keep your GPA above 3.50, which I know your GPA is higher than that. So you've got to keep that GPA up there, right? Um, but yeah, just get with Todd and uh, we'll figure that out for you. And yeah, I can understand getting this done so that you can do your automotive course, which is going to be very exciting for you, Jess. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll, we'll get it sorted out, okay? Um, Thank you. I appreciate it. I just saw... Uh... I want the opportunities for work, honestly. Right. Um, I can't move up in my position without. Right. I, I totally get it. No problem. Okay. Um, any other questions from last week's assignments or grading or anything that uh, didn't make sense? Did you all read your comments and have a look at some of the things that I said? Because um, I tried to give you some suggestions for improvement. Okay. Yeah. I, I definitely appreciate your questions. Okay, awesome. Um, and then looking at this week, you have your discussion um, and then your assessment. Gosh, and then next week we're done, right? One more week left. Um, so far, uh, have there been any issues with the discussion or the assessment at all? Okay. Um, I just want to go ahead and look at that discussion. Guys, do you remember that I said the discussion is very complex, that you have to answer um, the question, and then you have to answer the other set of questions of who's your audience, um, you know, all of that. Uh, does it, does that, the discussion make sense to you guys? Apparently not. I don't think I did that. I'll have to look at what I did. I don't okay. think I've read it yet. Okay. If you look at the discussion, let me go in there, guys. Let me show you because I know even on Tuesday I said it's a, it's a complex discussion in that there's two parts to it that you need to answer. So my suggestion is have two paragraphs because it's two questions. Um, so I'm going in there now. You can see it on your screen in a second. Here's the discussion. They have a whole bunch of stuff they want you to read. Once again, read through all of that. And then they, they give you this raft. The raft strategy asks you to consider four things, okay? Now, when you're writing your paragraph, the question for the paragraph is down here. Prompt, it says, for your initial post, 
Use the raft strategy to create a one paragraph essay draft answering the following question. Okay, so first, the first paragraph, answer this question. How should parents navigate allowing their children access to smartphones? Example, uh, in terms of the age and the rules. Share both your paragraph and the answers you gave to the raft question. Okay, so my suggestion is in the first paragraph, answer this question. How should parents navigate allowing their children access to smartphones? And like I said in, uh, in Tuesday's lecture, that is very relevant because right now we're sitting with that situation where we're at home, we've got kids who are bored, they're on technology, and how, as a parent, how are you navigating that so there's some sort of balance because we can't just let them sit on technology 24-7, right? I mean, right. as much as we'd like to keep them busy so we can do other stuff, we can't do that. So, Number one, first paragraph, answer that question. It says here for your initial post, use the raft strategy to create a one paragraph essay answering the following questions. Now go, now go back to the raft strategy, okay? And answer those questions in your second paragraph. Say, answer from your point of view, the role of the writer. Who are you as the writer? You're the parent, aren't you? Are you an expert, a student, or a peer? Well, if you're a parent and you have children, I think you're pretty expert in that area, you know, depending on how you rate yourself. Okay, hopefully we all rate ourselves as good parents. Number two, audience, who, who are you writing to? Who's it intended for? So you can say, well, other parents. This is intended, yeah, other parents, or my colleagues, or my classmates, but other parents. We are, yeah. The format, what is the structure of your writing? Is it a letter, a memo, a report, or an essay? And depending on how you wrote it, you could have written it like a memo or like a little essay or just a paragraph, say a paragraph, whatever the structure is that you use. Well, I think I got it right then. I said that I was, um, I'm going to, I'm going to be a teacher for the most part. Okay. For so I think I might've did that. All right. That's, then you did, then you did great. And lastly, topic, what are you writing about? How can you make it clear to the reader? So answer those four questions in a little paragraph after you've answered the question. I think that's just easier because if you put this into an essay and you combine these two things, I think it's very confusing. So uh, it, I, it is a complex type of discussion, um, but I would break it up into two paragraphs. If you wanna combine everything into one paragraph and you answer those questions and you answer the other questions, great guys, however you wanna do it, um, works for me, okay? Um, I will cross post like I did last uh, week. Um, Typically by Friday, Saturday, I'm checking to see if you guys have done your posts and done some replies. And Jess, that's when I kind of cross post. So by Sunday, at least you'll have those if you want to do replies by Sunday, Jess. Okay, does that make sense? Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but but uh, I've got to leave on vacation. Um, I'm going to reply to yours tonight because it's my last day to do so. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. Are you, are you, will you be away week four? Nope. Just, okay. just going camping this weekend. Oh, I just want to have um, everything done right now. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's <laughs> please enjoy. Your I also have my, oh, thank you. Um, I also have my, my uh, paper done um, and my discussion done. Um, I hope that you like the way that I structured it. I structured it backwards. I did the raft paragraph explanation before I wrote my, um, per, uh, essay on children and smartphone technology, Perfect. but it's still basically the same concept, just um, backwards. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I think I combined uh, this Also, sorry, Jess. I had a hard time. I kind of did too. <laughs> no worries. I think there's such a bad lag. It's hard to yeah. not interrupt you guys. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. There, there is a bit uh, of a lag. But the paper, I, I want to ask about the source. Yeah, the the sources that we have in the in our rough draft. Do you want us yeah. to have like our quotes and everything in there, and then our reference page, all that crap? Yes. Yeah, because what I want to see is the entire paper and all the okay. content. You're doing ninety five percent of the paper and the work and everything. That next week, it's really sort of revision and resubmitting it. So this week, you're gonna get you're gonna get it basically done. Um, yeah. So sources. Reference page, okay. all of that name. Um, Cinnamon, what were you saying about your all of our citations? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. 
That's okay. So the discussion, I think I just combined it all together. Like I answered the Whoa. questions and I just, I put, I answered the first question with the cell phones and put it all together. Like, put yeah. and, and the whole thing. it's like 350 words, I think. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's perfect. As long as when I read it, I can see you guys, are, you, it doesn't matter how you've structured it, but I can see you've answered both those questions. Okay. Um, and that's all that I'm really looking for. So good, good job, guys. You understood okay. it well. So no problem. What would, our, what would our in-text citation be for this? You could maybe do some uh, research on um, uh, the parenting techniques or parenting suggestions around technology and and uh, smartphone time, and see what other mothers and other people are saying online about how they're handling it. That's what I would do. Okay, looks like we are clear on the discussion. Well, guys, I look forward to reading your discussion and then obviously your essay. I'm very excited to see how this whole thing comes together. Um, and you guys have been doing great. I mean, uh, it's been very exciting to see, you know, just the process and um, it hasn't been a difficult class. So it's been a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Yeah, I have. Um, Good. My um, reference was the actual risk kit. And how to um, Mom, I think uh, you're too close to it or something. Yeah, it's, it's we I can't okay. hear you very well, Cinnamon. My um reference was actually a um worksheet that I found on uh, a uh, class website for a teacher how to teach um how to use rap. So it literally like works you through like what your role is. Are you an engineer, a technician? And yeah. so that kind of, and a little bit more of what RAF was or is. So um, is that okay if we use that? Perfect. I wasn't sure what kind of a reference you wanted. <laughs> no, uh, you know, it's uh, Cinnamon, if that's the reference that you're using, that's great. I'm, I am super glad you did some more research on that online and finding a worksheet on that. No, that is super perfect. I mean, all you do need to do is have a reference in there, right? So it doesn't matter what source you use as long as it works for you and as long as you do have citations and sources um, and references in your discussion. So perfect. I love it. Um, that's great. Good job. All right. Any questions on the assessment? Has anyone attempted the assessment yet? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Well, you the have first time I did. Sorry, make... sorry. That's good. But I did. Sorry, I, I did better the last time though. I took it twice. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, so guys, get that assessment done as well. Obviously, do the course reading in course media. Do all that reading so that you're prepared for the assessment. I have got it open. I think you can attempt it three times. Um, and like I said, you know, this is I, it's, I don't want you to get everything wrong and you haven't learned anything. I'd rather you get some stuff wrong, go back, figure out what it was, get it right, uh, do it a couple of times because then you've learned something and you've, you know, you've increased your knowledge and it's not just a test that you're getting things wrong and right. Um, so I'm happy that you do it three times if you want to, if you want to increase your brain. All the other assessments are open as well until Sunday next week. So if you want to go back, retake those, um, the, the computer will store your highest grade. So you are more than welcome if you want to increase some grades and use this class to really boost your GPA. You can go back and take those assessments again. Um, and uh, if you need to take it more than three times, just ask me, you know what, I'll go back and open it. I really don't mind. Like I said, I want it to be a learning um, exercise for you and not just a test whether you that you don't even know what you got wrong um, and you haven't learned anything so that's kind of how I see those assessments well that's really all that I have uh, for this evening to discuss with you um, in terms of what you what is expected of your paper um, you know please at any point during the weekend just text me like you guys do or just um, uh, email me and I am here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stay online I'm going to get some of my work done and I'm, I'm here to answer any questions or anything that you need. You're welcome to stay and work with me. Um, however, you know, Sienna and Cinnamon, I know you guys have got stuff going on. So you're welcome to log out. I'll post this if you want to go back and look at some of those patterns of development, but it is in your announcements um, under, under um, 
drafting strategies. So you have got that there if you want to go back and read through those and figure out what which strategy you want to use. Um, and also the, the structure of the essay, the candy wrapper, how it looks like a candy wrapper, it's in there, so you could, you could review that. Um, yeah, so I am good. I am uh, pleased to see all of you, and I think, um, uh, yeah, I think we're good for this evening. Hey, I'll get some more stuff done um, tonight. And ow. So, thank you. Absolutely, guys. Well, listen, if I don't see you, enjoy your weekend. Have a great weekend, Jess, if you're camping. That's going to be fantastic. And be safe, girl. Thank okay. You. Bye, right. guys. Bye, bye. Bye. All right. Bye, Cinnamon. Bye, Sienna. I will. I will. Bye. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.